up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to share with you all my empty beauty products that I've used up the last couple of months and I've also included products that are very old and that I just need to throw away and also products that I'm going to give away because I'm not using them. This is going to be part one of this beauty empties video because I have so many empty products and products that I want to throw away. As you can see, so the video would be way too long if I would include all these products. So there will be also a second part, so stay tuned for that. Now I would say let's get started. I have products from each section, hair care products, makeup products, skincare products. But of course there is no order because I've just put it into a box. And I will start right away with a hair care product and it's the Mary King Cream Conditioner by Lush. And you can tell it's empty. This is by far my favorite conditioner of all time. I really don't know how many times I've talked about this conditioner in my videos because I have the feeling that I mention it in every second favorites video. But for a good reason because it makes my hair always very soft and shiny and it gives my hair hydration so it doesn't feel dry anymore and it smells incredible. It's a mixture of strawberry and vanilla so very good and the scent stays in my hair for at least two to three days so i'm so obsessed with this i've already bought a new one and definitely worth the money so next i've got the simple sensitive skin micellar water and it's also completely empty i've heard about this brand in so many youtube videos and finally I found it also in the drugstore here in Austria and now I really know why people are so obsessed with this brand because it was extremely affordable but it took off all my eye makeup so easily I've used it especially to remove my mascara and it was no problem my skin felt not dry at all and it was also super easy to remove all the rest of my makeup with this if you're looking for a good cleanser to remove mascara i can definitely recommend this to you so i need to buy this again definitely then i've got another product and that's the catrice lip primer it looks like this it's just a white pen and yeah as you can see there is still product left and yeah, that's because I don't like it. It doesn't work for me because it claims to be a lip primer that covers all the wrinkles and fine lines on the lips and it does nothing. No matter if I apply a little bit or very much on my lips, my lips or the product itself gets very flaky and no lip product look good on top of this because these little flakes were visible and yeah, also my fine lines and wrinkles um, were not covered at all so this thing uh, really didn't work for me so um, I decided to throw it away or give away to a friend maybe she likes it, I don't know but that's definitely a product that I'm not going to use up and then I've got another product that is um, yeah, I would say nearly completely full and it's the Manhattan contouring kit I really wanted to love this from the first time I've seen it because I think a few years ago when I bought it everybody on YouTube seemed to love it and was everybody was so obsessed with this contouring kit but yeah. I've just tried it a couple of times and it never worked because the pigmentation of these colors is so bad as you can see maybe on the back of my hand the bronzer or the contouring shade yeah it claims to be a contouring shade but it's way too orangey so definitely not for contouring the blush is not really visible this should be a highlighter and yeah, it's just a white powder that is a little bit visible but without any sheen or shimmer or even glitter there is nothing inside and it just looks powdery and white so definitely not worth the money i'm just giving it away maybe my friend likes it i don't know maybe it works for other people but definitely not for me so next i've got that baptiste dry shampoo it's the volume edition and i'm pretty sure that i've already repurchased it i would say five six times and i always like to use this because it takes away all the greasiness from my hair you don't need much product and it always gives my hair a little bit of texture so I can build up a little bit of volume 
and I'm pretty sure you can see I have very flat hair with zero volume in it so it's pretty hard to build up a lot of volume so I'm pretty happy that this one gives me a little bit of volume let's move on to the next product and it's the same dry shampoo so I have it two times here next I've got the Catrice Sun Glow Matte Bronzing Powder it's in the shade 020 I have the same one only a shade lighter I know there is so much product left and I've really loved using this product but now it's time to throw it away because this was my first bronzer and I think I've bought it I would say five years ago or six years ago maybe four years ago I don't know but it's definitely too long and now it's time to throw it away I've really enjoyed using it because my skin always looked very natural and sun-kissed and I think this is the perfect bronzer for beginners because it's first very affordable and second it's not extremely pigmented don't get me wrong you can build up a very bronzy shade but it's not like with other bronzers where you dip in once and then you are just completely brown in your face so i think this is the perfect bronzer to start if you're using it make sure you're using a fixing spray because otherwise it just fades away after a few hours so this was this little guy here next i've got the sugar scrub from l'oreal there is no name so i really don't know how it's called it smells amazing but i really don't like the scrub i've used it a couple of times but the result was always the same of course the dead skin cells um, have been removed that was okay but my skin felt always extremely greasy afterwards so that's the reason why this show scrub doesn't work for me and I will just give it away. Maybe other people like it more than I do. But let's move on to the next product that is completely empty. And it's the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I just love this eye cream because it's a very moisturizing and hydrating eye cream. It's a very thick one, so perfect if you have dry under eyes like me. But I think this would be too much for people with oily under eyes. My under eyes never feel dry when I have this cream on, no matter if I'm using a concealer on top with powder or not. I really love this and I really need to buy this again. And I've got the same products. And it's the Hushan Wen Hua hair mask from Lush and both of them are empty. I really have to admit that I wasn't the biggest fan of this or this hair mask because the scent is really disgusting but it really does its job. It really hydrates my skin and my skin never feels or looks dry when I'm using it but I have the feeling that my hair really gets used to this hair mask so the first results that I saw were like, oh my gosh, the hair looks so good. And at the end, the results were like, okay, but I don't see a huge difference. Of course, my hair really looked good and felt good. But um, yeah, there was not such a huge difference like at the beginning. But I don't think that I'm going to repurchase it the next couple of months. Because I have so many other hair masks that I want to try out. And here I've got another Lush product. And I think... Yeah, it's the last one for today. I'm just obsessed with Lush products, so just to know if you're watching a few of my videos and I'm just mentioning many Lush products. And this one is the Sleepy Shower Gel. It smells like lavender and that's such a calming and good scent. I really can't describe it. The scent lasts on my skin for hours, even if I'm not using a huge amount of this shower gel. I really need to buy this again because that's definitely my favorite shower gel of the last couple of years. Next I've got another product that is not empty. It's um, really... it's full. I've only used it once and it's the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Prop Mate. I'm just giving it away to a friend because the color is too light for me. It's in the shade um, Brunette. Actually, it's a very good product, but it's just the color. Okay, then I've got another eyebrow product and it's the Manhattan Brow-tastic Eyebrow Kit. There's a spoolie inside, a little brush, and something like a brow pomade and a brow powder. And here I've got the same problem like with the NYX Brow Gel. It's just too light for me. The product itself is very good, but yeah, too light. I'm always making the same mistake because when I buy 
eyebrow products and they are very dark I think like okay no my eyebrows are not that dark so I'm buying a shade liner and yeah, then it's obviously too light so let's move on with lip products and here I've got a few lipsticks and I will just quickly mention each of them here I've got the Catrice luminous lips lipstick in the shade everybody is an orbit genius and I really like the color it's a very dark red color so perfect for the fall and winter time it's pretty oily and this lipstick looks good on the lips for the first I would say five to ten minutes but after a while you can see that the lipstick just slips around your mouth and even if I'm wearing a uh, lip liner that's the name um, it just gets outside and it doesn't stay in place it's not a long-lasting lipstick so when you drink or eat something it's just gone and it's extremely greasy so I'm gonna throw away this one and then I've got two NYX soft matte lip creams the red one is in the shade Monte Carlo and the other one is in the shade Stockholm and I was so obsessed with these lipsticks because they dry matte and I love a matte lip. They also don't make the lip look very dry or crusty. On one side it dries matte but on the other side it's also a little bit hydrating. I really need to buy them again. Then I've got another matte lipstick. It's the Catrice Velvet Matte Lip Cream. And I bought this product because um, it said that it's going to be a matte lipstick but unfortunately it doesn't dry matte at all. No, it's not matte in no world. It doesn't dry matte, it just stays something in between glossy and matte and it doesn't stay in place. It's not a long lasting lipstick. It just slips around my mouth the whole day long. So I just decided to throw this away because um, there's a little bit left but I'm not gonna keep it. Then I've got a three essence lipsticks here. This one is the XXL Long Lasting Lip Gloss and then I've got two matte 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 long lasting lip glosses. I've really enjoyed using all of these lip glosses, especially this one because the color is so beautiful and also the texture is a little bit similar to the NYX lipsticks. It dries matte but it's a little bit silky and soft so not completely dried out like other matte lipsticks they claim to be long lasting lipsticks and that's only partly true because they last on your lips for a few hours but when you drink or eat something they fade away so they are not 100% long lasting but I think these have been three or four euros or even cheaper I don't know but extremely affordable so I think that's okay for a price I've bought them years ago so I really don't know if they still exist so I don't know these lipsticks have been very good so would definitely recommend them to you if you're looking for affordable matte lipsticks or if you're a beginner and you don't know which lipsticks to buy but anyways let's move on to the next product and here I've got the Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline um, if you watch my channel now for a while, you probably will know that I love this mascara, that I'm obsessed with this mascara. I think I've repurchased this at least five, six or seven times because I think I used this since 2015. So I'm always buying it again because I know it works. It's pretty affordable because it's from the drugstore. This mascara makes my lashes just pop and look very good. And if I'm applying two to three layers, my lashes always look like falsies and yes I will definitely repurchase it because I need this in my life so next I've got a product that first it didn't work for me second that I have for too long way too long and it's the W7 in the buff neutrals eyeshadow palette I got this once from my sister and I was so happy because this was one of the first eyeshadow palettes that I've ever got and all these eyeshadows here look very natural and beautiful and yeah that's it i just can't use it it takes forever to get a little bit of pigmentation out of these eyeshadows and it takes so long to build up the color to blend the color out and on my eyelid all the colors look nearly the same so in the eyeshadow palette they look completely different but on the eyelids 
nothing. The shimmery shades have zero shimmer and they just don't look good. So I'm now going to throw it away. Then I've got another empty product and it's the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. It's the most incredible eyeliner on this planet, even though it costs very much for an eyeliner. I think about 20 euros, so eh, not very affordable. This eyeliner is the most precise eyeliner that I've ever owned. The packaging is so stunning, so beautiful. And the product itself is so good, it lasts forever on your eyelids. And sometimes it's also a little bit hard to remove. And the color itself is completely black. It doesn't fade away or just gets off during the day. It stays in place, it's always black. And with this one, I can create the perfect, most precise wing ever. I will definitely repurchase it when my other one is empty because, like I said, amazing thing. Let's move on to the next empty product and here I've got the Mario Badescu Aloe Moisturizer with SPF 15 in it. I've bought this I think a year ago and it lasted very long. It lasted about a year even though it looks very very tiny and I've always used this on an everyday basis and my skin felt good and hydrated. It's not a very thick and heavy cream so I've mainly used this in spring and summertime when it was a little bit warm outside because when it's colder outside I prefer more thicker and heavier creams. So I've really been loving this moisturizer, it didn't break me out. Next I've got two BB creams and they're both from L'Oreal. The one is the Skin Perfection BB Cream and the other one is the Nude Machique BB Cream, of course. I bought both of the BB Creams when I started using makeup because I wanted to have only a little bit of coverage. But I was so disappointed by both of these products. The texture itself is not bad, but they are so extremely orangey. So maybe it works for other people with a little bit of a darker skin tone, but for me personally, I look like an orange. So these BB creams really don't work for me. And I think now it's time to throw them away because I have them for such a long time, for years. So I'm gonna throw them away. Of course, I'm not gonna repurchase one of these products. So that's basically everything. And of course, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.